emergency? Oh, no, it ain't no emergency, man. Just got, you know, sales down. I opened uh, bottles sitting on the shelf. Even three Buffalo Wings on Friday night aren't packing them in anymore, you know? That's serious, huh? Yeah, but the good news is I'm an entrepreneur, right? And when the going gets tough, I get creative. <laughs> What's the way to Lower the price of booze? What are you going to do? Better, man. What do you think? I think it's brilliant. <laughs> I think if people are going to sing in public, they usually have to drink alcohol, which means more sales for you. Well, see, that is the plan, my man. Pack the bar and get everybody drinking. Absolutely. I just don't understand why you called me in for this. Mm. Well, see, the beauty, the beauty of karaoke is it appeals to everybody. College grads, factory workers, housewives, businessmen, doctors. Where'd that come from? Dude, come on. You're a good-looking dude. Class, charisma, and I mean, uh, <laughs> chicks dig you, which guarantees that the ladies can enjoy the show. What show, Dude, I want you to be the first in line to grab that mic and belt out of town. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Not a chance in hell. I'm not singing in public. Why not? Why? Be because, Coleman, I have a reputation oh, to uphold. Come on, man. It's just karaoke, dude. Look, I, hey, I'm your buddy, right? I was best man at your wedding, and, well, at least the first attempt. <laughs> and now it's your turn to stand okay, up for time me, Okay, time out. Brother? You're comparing a wedding to the embarrassment of singing karaoke in front of people at, at, at your bar? Dude, hey, one's as painful as the other, man. You know what? I'd really... Love to help you out, but I gotta keep a low profile until this whole malpractice suit is swept under the rug. Dude, I thought that was dead in the water now that the mayor's been arrested for off at his mistress. So it's good to have you back to start. Just same man with different uniform. Well, I gave up my old mop for a brand new badge. <laughs> So what made you decide to become a security guard? Well, once upon a time in one of my other lives, I uh, did some police in investigation work. Really? Mm -hmm. So you have experience with investigating? I sure do. What's on your mind? <laughs> well, I, I was hoping that you could help walk me through this mystery that I'm trying to solve. Unfortunately, I jumped the gun and accused the mayor of murder. Yeah, I heard about that. Well, everybody has. Now the mayor's been arrested and lives are being ruined because of me. Unfortunately, I was convinced that the mayor killed Brownie Hughes, but it just seems so neat, you know, so tied up in a little bow. I'm afraid that I've missed something. Go back to the beginning. Okay, well... The beginning for me was when Patrick and I were called to the Metro Court hotel room. Brianna was there, she was unconscious, and Mayor Floyd was frantic. He said that they'd been taking a shower together and she hit her head once, not twice, like the autopsy showed. Do you believe him? It's certainly possible he didn't know about it. He did leave the hotel room and then come back, which would leave room for somebody else to have hit her over the head. Keep going. What does your instinct tell you? If he was telling the truth about what happened to Brianna, then maybe he's also telling the truth about the fact that he planned to marry her, which would mean the person with the most to lose is the mayor's... Dr. Scorpio, just the person I was looking for. I wanted to thank you again for all your help. How exactly have I helped you? Karaoke night. A truly inspired concert. <laughs> you like giving the shots, Benelli? Yeah, most heartily. I I shall express my devotion to Fairmax and Easter through song. The romantic embodiment of courtly love. <laughs> well, I can think of better expressions of love, but hey, whatever floats your boat, buddy. Congratulations, Coleman. You have your first performer. Mm -hmm. Well, you could follow his example, man. Not a chance. I've helped Dr. Scorpio by being objective. I can only hope the court will be as impartial. This must be a difficult time for you. My husband's working on his defense. I have to believe he'll be exonerated. I believe he will be. Excuse me. 
Excuse me, are you Toussaint Dubois, the lead singer of The Saints? Guilty as charged. I, I'm Andrea Floyd. I, I, I loved your music. I had every one of your records. My girlfriends and I used to dance to them all the time. Oh, I thank you. No, thank you for your hours of pleasure. This is unbelievable. I can't believe it's really you. This is, this is an honor. Do you mind? Do you mind signing an autograph? Oh, uh, no, absolutely not. No. This is amazing. This... This is truly a bright spot in a very dark day. Thank you. Take care. Okay, thanks. You probably think I'm crazy for accusing her of killing Brianna Hughes. Well, I can't argue with her taste in music, but that doesn't necessarily make her innocent. Do you think she's capable of murder? Hey, guess what Coleman called me down to Jake's party? He... Guess what I just figured out? I, I can't believe it took me this long. The truth has been staring at me in the face the entire truth? time. I know who killed Brianna Hughes, and it was not the mayor. Okay, time out. A few days ago, you were sure that the mayor was the culprit, and look what happened. This time, I'm positive. The mayor was so in love with Brianna, so much so that he wanted to leave his wife. It all makes sense. I know how much you care about justice being served here, but the police are investigating. We have to let them do their job. I know that my Uncle Mac knows what he's doing, but if I have pertinent information, it is my job to pass it along. Okay, so who's your current suspect? The mayor's wife, Andrea. How do you figure? With all that she's invested in the mayor's career, she was willing to do anything to keep her marriage together, even commit murder. Brianna Hughes was killed by Andrea Floyd. 